Okay, there and a Jeff. Right. Real good then. Okay. You can sleep. It's early yet. Gotta go. Yeah. I'll fix you some eggs. That's okay, hon. I gotta run. You gotta eat a breakfast, Marge. I'll fix you some eggs. Well, hon, you can sleep. You gotta eat a breakfast. <coughs> I'll fix you some eggs. Ah, Norm. Thanks, hon. Time to shove off. Love you, Margie. Love you, hon. You might need a little warm-up. Thanks a bunch. So what's the deal now? Gary says triple homicide? Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Two of them are over here. Where is everybody? Well, it's cold, Margie. Watch your step, Margie. Oh, jeez. So... Oh, jeez. Here's the second one. It's in the head and the hand there. I guess that's a defensive wound. Oh, yeah? Where's the state trooper? Back there, a good piece in the ditch next to his prowler. Okay. So we got a trooper pull someone over. We got a shooting. These folks drive by. There's a high-speed pursuit. Ends here, and then this execution type deal. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if our suspect was from Brainerd. Yeah. And I'll tell you what. From his footprint, he looks like a big fella. You see something down there, Chief? No, I just think I'm gonna barf. Jeez. You okay, Margie? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just morning sickness. Well, that passed. Yeah? Yeah, now I'm hungry again. You have breakfast yet, Margie? Oh, yeah. Norm made some eggs. Yeah? Well, what now do you think? Let's go take a look at that trooper. There's different footprints here, Lou. Yeah? Yeah. This guy's smaller than his buddy. Oh, yeah? For Pete's sake. How's it look, Marge? Well, he's got his gun on his hip there, and he looks like a nice enough guy. It's a real shame. Yeah. Didn't monkey with his car there, did you? No way. Well, somebody shut his lights. I guess the little guy sat in there waiting for his buddy to come back. Yeah, it would have been cold out here. Heck yeah. You think is Dave open yet? Dave? Well, you don't think he's mixed up in the... Oh, no, no. I just want to get Norm some night crawlers. 
Did you look in his citation book? Yeah. Last vehicle he rode in was a tan Sierra at 2.18 a.m. Under a plate number, he put DLR. I figured they stopped him or shot him before he could finish filling out the tag number. Uh-huh. So I got the state looking for a Sierra with a tag starting DLR. They don't got no match yet. I'm not sure that I agree with you 100% on your police work there, Lou. Yeah? Yeah. I think that vehicle there probably had dealer plates. DLR. Oh. Jeez. Say, Lou, do you hear the one about the guy who couldn't afford personalized plates, so he went and changed his name to J3L2404? Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, Janie, two more of those skins, hold softly. Sure thing. Hiya, hon. I brought you some lunch, Margie. What are those, night crawlers? Yeah. Oh, thanks, hon. You bet. Thanks for lunch. Oh, yeah, looks pretty good. What do we got here? Arby's? Uh-huh. How's the paint going? Pretty good. Found out the Hauptmans are entering a painting this year. Oh, hon, you're better than them. They're real good. They're good, Norm, but you're better than them. You think so? You got Arby's all over me. Hey, you, Norm. How's the painting going? Not too bad, you know. How we doing on that vehicle? Well, no motels registered any 10 Sierra last night, but uh, the night before, two men checked into the Blue Ox registering a Sierra and leaving a tag space blank. Geez, that's a good lead. Yeah. Blue Ox, that's that trucker's joint out there on I-35. Yeah. Owner was on the desk then. Said these two had company. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we both did. She went to college, too. I went to Normandale for about a year and a half. Yeah, that's where we met. But I dropped out, though. Yeah, she dropped. Yeah. So where are you girls from? Chaska. Lesueur. But I went to high school in White Bear Lake. You know, go Bears. Okay. I want you to tell me what these fellas look like. Well, the little guy, he was kind of funny looking. In what way? I don't know, just funny looking. Can you be any more specific? I couldn't really say. He wasn't circumcised. Was he funny looking apart from that? Yeah. So, you were having sex with a little fella then? Uh-huh. Is there anything else you can tell me about him? No. Like I say, he was funny looking. More than most people, even. What about the other fella? He was a little older. You know, he looked like the Marlboro man. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But maybe I'm saying that, you know, because he smoked a lot of Marlboros. Uh-huh. You know, like a subconscious type of thing. Oh, yeah, that can happen. Yeah. Hey, they said they were going to the Twin Cities. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, is that useful to you? Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Norm. How you doing, Marchie? How's the fricassee? Pretty darn good. You want some? Oh, no, I got... Hey, Norm, I thought you was going ice fishing up at Mille Lacs. Yeah, after lunch. Ah. What you got there? Oh, the numbers you asked for. Calls made from the lobby payphone at the Blue Ox. Two to Minneapolis that night. Mm. First one's a trucking company, and second one's a private residence, a Shep Proudfoot. Uh-huh. A what? Shep Proudfoot. That's a name. Uh-huh. Yeah. OK. Yeah. I think I'll take a drive down there, then. Oh, yeah? Twin Cities. Oh, yeah? So do you remember getting a call Wednesday night? No. You do reside there at 1425 Fremont Terrace. Yep. Anyone else residing there? No. Well, Mr. Proudfoot, this call came in past three in the morning. It's just hard for me to believe you don't remember anyone calling. Now, I know you've had some problems. Struggling with the narcotics, some other entanglements, currently on parole. 
So? Well, associating with criminals if you're the one they talk to. That right there would be a violation of your parole. Would end you up back in Stillwater. Now, I saw some rough stuff on your priors, but nothing in the nature of a homicide. I know you don't want to be an accessory to something like that. So, you think you might remember who those folks were who called you? Mr. Lundegaard? Huh? Yeah. Could I take just a minute of your time here? What... what is it all about? Huh? Do you mind if I sit down? Carrying quite a load here. You're the owner here, Mr. Lundegaard? Nah, I... executive sales manager. Well, you can help me. My name's Marge Gunderson. My father-in-law. He's the owner. Uh-huh. Well, I'm a police officer from Mount Brainerd, investigating some malfeasance. And I was just wondering if you'd had any new vehicles stolen off the lot in the past couple of weeks. Specifically, a tan color Sierra. Mr. Lundegaard. Brainerd? Yeah, yeah. Home of Paul Bunyan, Babe the Blue Ox. Babe the Blue Ox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we got that big statue up there. <laughs> so... You haven't had any vehicles go missing then? Nope. No, no ma'am. Okie dokie. Thanks a bunch. I'll let you get back to your paperwork then. <laughs> <laughs> 